Okay. We're standing out here today in the edge of a cotton field talking with Alan Warren, who has been using our product with the soy soap on his, on his cotton this year. And uh, we've been out and taken a few samples of the, the root system that uh, is on his cotton. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you did this year, Alan, on, on, uh, on your cotton that you grew this year. Well, on, the, um, on my cotton, I didn't find out about the soy soap until it was later than really recommended to spray. In other words, from what I've heard, you need to spray it as early as possible, like right. the three or four leaf stage. I sprayed this cotton when it was probably in the seven to eight leaf stage. So the cotton was actually about this tall when I sprayed. After I sprayed it, I noticed it really started to take on a good canopy, which is what you want. You want a stocky plant. Um, you don't want a big, tall, leggy plant. You want it stocky. Right. And uh, I don't, it, it just it just grew good. Um, as you can see, the root system is good. The stalks are healthy. Now, these size stalks you wouldn't ordinarily see, I don't think, in cotton I had planted as thick as I did. When I say thick, I mean it was probably averaging three and a half to four plants per foot. Right. And ordinarily on cotton in this area, two plants per foot, two to three is a plenty. So that extra plant per foot, you wouldn't ordinarily see stalks this big or roots that big. Another thing I noticed about them was how all the root, all the tap roots grow down straight. A lot of times on cotton, you'll see the tap roots shoot off to the side. Where these go straight down, you know the moisture, the deeper the tap root goes, the more moisture it's going to get. Right. Um, I was well impressed. Um, the land I had cotton on this year in the past, the best average we ever came up with was just better 900 pounds, probably 935 or something like that. This year on these fields, I averaged 1,263 pounds of cotton. Uh, granted, it was a decent growing season, but that much difference. Something else had something to do with something. <laughs> yeah, but you said that normally in a in a perfect year, normally yeah. about 900 pounds. Nine, 935 on a, on a on a good year is about what these this farm has done in the in the history. Have you ever seen a root system on a on a cotton plant? That's impressive. <laughs> that, that, that's that's pretty impressive right there. Uh, if you don't have it under the ground, you ain't gonna make it on top of the ground. That's right. That's exactly right. Um. It was just a good, a good manageable crop. Uh, cotton is one of those crops that you really have to pay attention to the to the growth stages and what to do when you do it and how, how manageable is it. Uh, the easier manageable the crop, the easier it is on the farmer. Well, what would you tell other farmers who have never used this product before? I'll tell you, I sprayed it one time this year, and uh, next year I'm going to spray it at least twice. I'm going to get it out early, and I'm going to hit it again at when it's uh, after it starts squaring good. Um, that's my plan for this coming year. And the rate that I used was 8-ounce broadcast or 4-ounce banded. Um, a lot of farmers don't like banding, but it just depends on what the farmers. It's a little more labor-intensive to do the banding than it is just to put that, it out That's there. true, that's true. Um, one way or another, you're getting the the amount of chemical on the plant. Um, of course, when it gets a little bigger, you need to broadcast it to get that good coverage. Right. But when it's a small plant, um, that's, that's what I'm planning on doing this year. Get it on early and get the maximum benefit from it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, thank you, Alan. We appreciate your comments on, on the cotton today. It really looks good. Yeah, it does. Alan, uh, based on this year's crop and everything, and the increase in the in the poundage that you have, what do you how do you think it added to your bottom line this year? Well, if you if you look at the history of the of the farm at 930 pounds or so on the best years versus 1263, that's another over 300 pounds per acre. Cotton price has dropped this year, but when you you figure it all up, it comes out to $210 per acre more, is that right? I figured that, yeah, about 300 right. pounds, 300 around, pounds. around 70 cent cotton, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, so that comes out to a good return if I sprayed this crop. I really didn't spray it at once. But and, if, you, uh, if I sprayed it twice, you're looking at what a 10 or 12 to 1 
return on your money. Exactly. Uh, so you actually did a lot better than that by just spraying it once this time. So you wind up with about a 20, uh, nearly a 25 to 1 yes. return on investment then. That's yes. that with just one spray. That is correct. Um, I'll give you a dollar every day if you give me 25 back. <laughs> <laughs> we can make a habit out of that. Yeah, we get broke pretty quick then. <laughs> one of you would. Uh, but anyway, I, next year I will spray it twice. and. Uh, with what I've seen, I, I just don't see how you can go wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely.